Robin Grossinger is an environmental scientist at the San Francisco Estuary Institute. When we took over the landscape, the California landscape, from the native peoples, you know, who had been here several thousand years managing landscape, we didn't bother to ask them for the owner's manual. So he's turning to the past for answers. Grossinger is director of the Historical Ecology Program. He works with a team of scientists and researchers who pore over old photos and paintings. They're searching for clues about what the Bay Area looked like before the first settlers carved into the soft earth of the Bay's creeks, streams, and marshes, creating today's urban landscape. So we're using that information to reconstruct an understanding of how the landscape used to look and function. But it is the old maps that provide the best clues to our ecological past. I think of these maps almost like treasure maps because they're like of a faraway land that's completely different from, from the place we know, even though it is the same place. Each map tells a story, one of willow groves or river routes, the one-time boundaries of rancheros and pasture lands. These maps were made largely to define boundaries and property, and they use all the natural features, creeks and ponds and willow groves. Those ranchers hired some of the best map makers of the time to lay out property rights. A map like this was made in 1850, but is, is so accurate that when we scan it and georeference it and bring it into a modern computer and overlay it on aerial photography, a lot of the features will be within 50 or 100 feet. Those maps have proved incredibly valuable in the South Bay, where there is an aggressive plan to restore portions of the Guadalupe River, a notoriously flood-prone tributary that runs through the heart of San Jose. The Santa Clara Valley Water District has been buying homes here for decades. They will be demolished as part of a flood control plan. We're going to be able to uh, recreate floodplain that once existed and is no longer here. Uh, we, Robin's work can show us what kind of habitat existed here. Paul Amato is overseeing the project for the State Water Board. Old photos show what grew here. Looking Old maps Jose, show the variety there. and scope of that growth. While this will continue to be an urban landscape, uh, the intent is that we'll have flood protection and we'll also be able to recreate and bring back some of the natural habitat that may have been here or was here in the past. The project is expected to be completed by 2015. Success here could be recreated elsewhere around the Bay. But like any environmental project, it may take decades to determine success. Robin Grosinger is confident that it is at least a step in the right direction. We're never going to bring back the full complement of that historic landscape, but you'd be surprised there's a lot of pieces that can kind of be reintegrated within these, these urban systems.